Hey, Tai Chi students. This video tonight is going to be for our uh, blue sashes, purple sashes, and black sashes. What I wanted to do is isolate a few postures that we're all working on just so we can get some of the finer points. So to begin, our, our newest blue sashes are working through brush knees. So I wanted to take it from a front view so you can see what we're, what we're working on. So I start here. Now, I want to make sure that my arms across my body pointing to my elbow. I reach out. With, with the heel, grab with the heel. Now, as I reach out with the hand, the foot plants. As I shift my weight, I push. Okay, I'll do one more. I'm gonna shift back. I turn the hand. Notice my head follows the direction, right? Reach with the heel, plant the foot, push. Okay, remember the lean posture of the body. Now, I'm gonna do that again and just run through that with detail. So this is a great place to start, heels together, arms up just so we get a good starting position. Reach, eyes follow, push, shift. Shift back. Reach, eyes follow, plant the foot, push. Okay, I'll do one more. Do the best you can to follow. Here we go. Reach, push. And feel free to mirror this as you're watching the video. It's really just important to get the reps in and then we'll plug it in the form accordingly. Uh, higher blue sashes, we've been practicing the closing of this, but I really wanted to go through it in detail for you. So to do the closing of the form of the first section, left foot, right foot, Right foot turns straight as I drop the fingertips. I bring my feet shoulder width, cross the arms, I'm still down. Up, settle, and then end the form with the feet together. And I'll do that again. I'm gonna just turn the other opposite way for you this time. Left foot, right foot, right foot turns straight, feet together, separate, as you raise your body, feet together. Okay, I'll do one more time from the side. Left foot, right foot. Right foot turns straight. Shoulder width with the feet, I'm still down. Up and lower the hands. So I hope just seeing this from different angles will help you get some of the finer points, all right? Our purple sashes, we've been working on snake creeps down. I'd like to do both sides for you. Remember, I start in hook position, right hand high, left hand at the chest. Shoot the heel back, fingertips down. Turn the left foot, the right foot, and now golden rooster stands on one leg. Now, I have to look over my left to do the opposite side. So I pivot, and I'm gonna just slide over so you can see this a little better. Remember now, push back with the heel, fingertips down, left foot, and then front foot and back hand turn together. Now through the middle, golden rooster stands on one leg, okay? I'm gonna do that again, just facing the other way. So I started here. I'm gonna start in that same posture, just opposite viewpoint. Heel goes back. Fingertips down. Turn the rear foot. Turn the front foot and the back hand. This opens your hips so you can rise up. Golden rooster stands on one leg. Now, just put the foot down and pivot. My weight is still on my left leg, okay? I'm gonna step out. Fingertips down. Snake creeps down. Turn the rear foot. Turn the front foot and the back hand. Now through the center, lift up, golden rooster stands on one leg. Notice that when I do golden rooster, I push down and I lift up. I'm gonna do it one last time and I'm gonna do it from the side. So 
So I, I hope that's helpful as we work our way through the form. Lastly, for our black sashes, I'm gonna put on a few segments of, of form that we'd like you to work on as well. So I find for the second section, those of you that are starting that of the 103, this opening can be a challenge. So remember now, I'm gonna step out with the left, ward off, I'm turning my form, this hand, my right hand reaches out, come around, now almost like eagle's wing, right? Now bring it to your hip. And once you start rising from the hip, the other hand punches in. I settle on the heel. Now that sets me up for a pulse the monkey. Just remember the only difference from this than 24 is that I pivot on the front heel. So I come up, I'm still flat footed. I step back, but I just pivot on the front heel. So the toes turn in. But everything else you do is the same as 24. Step straight back, pivot on the heel. We do three of these. Okay, good. I like to just turn that from a different direction for you. So I'll uh, we'll take it from, yeah, I'm sorry, we'll take it from here, that'll, that'll work. I level out. Okay, notice how I step to the corner, my front corner, front left corner. Eagles wing up, bring this to the hip, see? Now, converge in the center. And now I'm ready to step back, pivoting on the front heel. All right, and I just gotta do three of those, okay? And then as we progress through the second section, we had worked a little bit, I, I had uh, mentioned a little bit about working this uh, sequence here after we do the big kick. So after we kick, I'm just gonna come down across and then we work the brush knees already with our blue sashes it's the same what i wanted to spend time showing you is how to get into that punch so i shift reach push so two brush knees right now i'm going to reach out my body's still back as i punch i shift in notice that my hand is down by the knee, as is my punch. So I'm fully extended. My body is on the angle. So I'll do that again sideways now. So after the second brush knee, again, those are identical to what we do in the first section. But now, pull toward the right hip, reach out, back weight, forward and punch. Okay? Now after that, I just turn, we'll work on this, but I just turn and I repeat the sequence that we learned earlier in the form. Okay, so we'll, we'll work through that. Let's really focus on the punch for now. Please watch the next video as we'll hit some push-ins exercises. Great work, guys. We'll see you there.